resonance people and stuff. Who dis? What? You've never heard of John Milton before? This is John Milton. Here, busted through that wall. John Milton was a British poet and intellectual who once served as a civil servant for the Commonwealth of England under the control of the state, and later under Oliver Cromwell. At the time, he wrote uh, of religious flux and, pol and political upheaval. Place of birth and where this man grew up. John Milton was born and raised in Bread Street, Cheapside, London, England, and went to the St. Paul School. What did he do? John Milton, then and even now, is known for his poetry. He wrote probably the best poem in English history. Some people would say it's epic. I don't like literacy, so, or literature, so. How am I supposed to know? During the resonance, he influenced the comeback of the poetic writing style called Sonnet. We'll tell you about that epic poem later, because it's just too epic for now. Some of John Milton's best work. John Milton, then and even now, is most famously known as a poet, and for his sonnet foam form of poetry, Using this style, he made the poem mm, Song Way Morning and many other ones, such as When I Consider How My Light Shines, I think. Or Light is Spent, sorry. The image is cut off. How did John Milton's work impact the world we live in today? Well, as you know, again, he is most famously known as a poet and his world-renowned signature style of the sonnet has impacted the resonance in today's society in a numerous amount of ways. So many can't even talk about it. One of those ways is inspiring writers into literature. Again, I'm not a writer. I'm not into literature. I don't really know very much about this. Many writers have been inspired by John's work. Without John Milton, there probably wouldn't be as many writers as there are today. So, what I'm getting at is that it's very inspirational. Invention thing. Paradise Lost is John Milton's most famous poem ever made. You see, this is the epic poem that I was talking to you about. Who made this thing, as you all know, or guessed it? It's John Milton. Of course, the man, the legend himself. John Milton. Now, he didn't really invent anything, just the poem, so it wasn't really actually anything cool, so we have to just have to stick with this poem for now. The, it, it was made in the year uh, 1667. Mr. Barry, I'm still mad at you. Mm. Mm. You can't tell, but I'm crossing my arms right now. Does it still exist today? I do not believe the original poem and or script for the thing still exists today, but what kind of typo is that? Probably are some fakes out there. Just fakers. How did this creation impact the Renaissance? People now and then said that Par Paradise Lost is the best poem or story to ever be made. Which says something, because there are some pretty good poems. And again, I'm not into literacy, and I'm, and I'm saying that. The people read it and liked it. And with the printing press, it quickly spread for people to read it. We interrupt your daily listening of Cash to listen to more Cash. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't see you there over uh, over there. Um, welcome to Cash's literature reading segment about literature. Today, 
we are going to be reading the short version of Paradise Lost, made by John Milton. Here, it says, Eve speaks to Adam. With thee, conversing, I forgot all time. All seasons and their change, all please alike. Sweet is the breath of morn, her rising sweet. With charm of earliest birds, pleasant to the sun. When first on this delightful land he spreads. That is all the time we have for today. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on post notifications for another segment. Thank you and goodbye. So it inspired people to write and go against the church and make more poems. Eve speaks to Adam. With thee conversing, I 